Do you like your thumbs? Because if so, level head is probably not for you. As I record this, my right thumb is feeling a little, just a little raw from uh, trying to get warmed up here so I could show you guys the game. I didn't want to go in and just bumble about a little bit because it's been a few days since I played. And level head is definitely one of those games you want to play often uh, in order to keep your skill up, right? So if you're not familiar, level head is a Mario Maker like. Uh, that's a thing now, I guess. That is well, well worthy of being called that and, and more. It is. Mario Maker for the uh, for the non-Switch platform. So if you don't have a Switch and you like the idea of having just an endless supply of user-generated levels, then this is absolutely for you. I'm gonna very briefly show you, just kind of show you around the level maker, but I am the worst. I'm not the person to follow to 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 learn anything off of for sure. Uh, look at this, look at this mess. <laughs> just an absolute mess. Let me see how to delete stuff. Let's see. Delete. We can just delete some of this stuff here. Just gonna start over, get rid of some of this nonsense, get out of here. So you can. You can, oh God, I mean, I don't know why I'm even showing you guys this part. Just listen, listen. Let me go get Declan, because Declan's the one that makes the levels, okay? And Dada is the one that beats them. That's my job, okay? So you can. <laughs> You can you can obviously draw environments. You can put a little platform up if you wanted to. These are platforms you could drop through if you like. Uh, you can. This is a, a rock that will uh, break whenever you attack it. Oh, just the word prize block. Let's put something in this one. Let's go and click on that. And let's see. Invisible. We'll say no. Let's see. Receiving chance. Let's see rotation. Uh, let me see. Uh, like there we go. I what, how do I put stuff in it? I don't know. Copy. Put that over here. Maybe. Um, let me see. What else can I show you guys here? Movements, let me see, teleporters, put teleporter there, teleporter there, and we'll say, oh, they're already linked, that's kind of nice, cool, they're already linked together, and then Sky, I don't even know what Sky Wiggler is, oh, it pushes you up in the air, god, you know what, man, I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, I'm just, <laughs> let me just do the levels, that way you can see how robust the maker is, how's that, because I'm not going to do this, I'm not doing this any kind of justice, at all, look at this, I don't even have an end of this level, let's jump with the teleporter, let's get jump through this other teleporter over here, so you can jump, you can take your little companion cube guy, and you could throw him around if you wanted to. Make him go through some portals, make him go for a little trip. Yay, look at you! We could go like this, and then throw him over there. And then he shows up right back there. Breakable block, boop, just like that. And you could get a little sprint going if you run fast enough in one single direction, just like that. And you can maintain that speed if you can just basically keep your momentum, like that. <laughs> so there you go. Now let me show you some of the levels that I have enjoyed uh, as I've been playing this thing. So, first off, this is obviously this is your main menu here. Uh, some nice chill lounge music here in the background. Uh, you have the tower, which is essentially like a level attack. You can go through, well, sorry, the tower trial is the level attack. Uh, and you go through the towers where you go through and you can select uh, just basically any one of the like millions and millions of levels. I will say this right off the top of the, like right off the top. Um, the community for this game is amazing. I played this game uh, like last week or so and people were just like, they're just popping in. It's like, hey man, you wanna try my course? You wanna try my course? Very similar. If you ever play Mario Maker, if you ever stream Mario Maker, you get basically the same, the this, this, this same kind of effect, right? People are like, hey, try my level, try my level, try my level. So here's what I'll say. If you are somebody who is, a, if you're a streamer and you like platformers, get this game and stream it because this will just bring people to you. And then you'll they'll give you levels, they'll give you the content to go and play and they will enjoy it because they like to see people tackle the levels and things that they've created. So please do yourself a favor a favor as a streamer, go and play this game. Um, let me see, what do I show you next? So I have a list of of, uh, of different levels to show you guys and they actually give you a, a little hash, right? So a little like seven digit hash that you could go through and plug in. So I'll go like search for example, look up and I'll put the code in. So the first one I'll show you is, oh God, what I show you? Oh, you know, I'm gonna show you the power up uh, demo. So 5WPX74. Now this, uh, 5WPX74AOH, whoops. There we go. Uh, is that so one, two, three, four, six, seven, one, two, three, four? Oh, that's uh, yeah, seven. Okay, so this level is something that should be in, but in vanilla because it shows you what all of the uh, all the power ups do. So I will do that for you. So first, you choose your power up. Let's go ahead and get in this one here. So this power up is basically a little rocket pack, and I'll just show you. First, you could hold the, down the B button to just kind of drift down if you want to. Then you could just use the rockets to go up, just like that. 
and then they're gonna test your test your metal here. Now it doesn't last forever, right? Doesn't it drop eventually? Oh, maybe not. Okay, good. Wasn't sure about that with this one. Oh, it's gonna go and hover down, hover down, hover down. Bam! There we go. Whoops! Didn't quite get that. Uh oh, is the guy gonna come back? Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Basically tutorial level. GG. Master platformer. Oh, I did it again. Cough. Jesus. Try it again. Yeah. <laughs> Move right on over here. The controls, I mean, I don't think it needs to be said. The controls are uh, stellar. Very, very responsive. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Like super responsive. I mean, if, if they're anything less than that, I would that would tell you that right off the bat. But no, they're very responsive. This is your uh, your Spider-Man outfit here. You can use this to climb walls, and then you can also use it. And they're gonna show you how to do this in a second. You can also use it to climb walls and ceilings. Nope, just one ceiling. Look at that. Look at that. You can also hide, which will be the show you over here. No. Oh. Oh man, way back here, give me a break! Oh man, this game's gonna punish me, isn't it? There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, let's get this. <laughs> let's not be cocky here. There we go. Now we can sneak. Do 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 do. Oh dang it! Took me out of the thing. Oh shit! Try again. Okay, get, get. There we go. Wow. Let's sneak right by these things. All right, cool. Then oh, sneak again. That little eyeball thing. You saw what it did. It sees you, and then it's uh, we're going to walk past this guy. It sees you, uh, and it will trigger something. That's something else you can program in, right? And you can have them trigger basically anything you want. Have them trigger uh, doors, as you saw. You can have them trigger platforms. You can have them trigger invisible items that show up randomly, or mobs, or whatever. Uh, this is your elect man ability. I don't know what else to call it. You could just kind of just use that too. Actually, here this is a great thing. It shows you how far you can zip through stuff. So up right here, you cannot zip through that, right? Through here, yes, you can. Uh, really great tutorial level, actually, and really for us, for our purposes, a really great demonstration of what everything does. Okay. Oh. okay. Then we're going go through. Get that. Go through the doors. Oh. Oh. Okay. Gotta go through that one. Done. Go. Enemy. Oh, enemy again. Then. Oh man, I missed that guy. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Just dying the easy stuff. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. It's okay, I'm just trying to trying to hurry it along. That's all it is. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> oh, that was my that was my I put the wrong button there. That was my fault. Uh, now I'm scared to go through the simplest of things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh, gosh. Victory music. God. All right. A couple more here. Let me see. Which was this one again? Oh, yeah. This is the punch. Guts man ability. Boom. No? Wait. Hold on a second. You can punch through that. Oh, weird. Okay. I guess maybe I ran out right before I was able to get that, so... There you go. I thought I was doing it wrong. I mean, I guess I was technically. Let's go pick that up. Okay, let me a little piece of uh, robo meat, robo steak. Zip through that. Zip. Oh, that's right. 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle. Remember that. When you're falling, 45 degree angle. There we go. Again, 45. Oh yeah. Boom. Wow. What do you want me to do? Enemies in the way. Get that out of the way, and we're back. Okay. Boop. Don't. Oh. Fell off the cliff edge. I still got that robo meat though. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to bring that or not. <laughs> It's an intimidation tactic. It's what it is. <laughs> Can't take another one though. I'll swap it out. Some fresh meat. Ah. Come on. This guy's like legs. Oh, oh green turtle shell. <laughs> Red, technically. It is uh, going back and forth, right? There we go. Come on. Come on. Then we go pow. And then we'll go pow. There we go. <laughs> Oh, kick my meat out of the way. Aw, oh, sucks. I gotta do my meat like that. What is this one? Ah, yes, this is the rocket jump one. So, whoop, 
go down. And so, do like this, and you can kind of bounce around a little bit. They run around, they, they pop. You hop on them too. Use this kind of like a rocket jump ability. One drop down, and we'll do the same thing here. So we'll go boom, boom. Go get this. Ah. And then what do we gotta do? Oh, we hit those things over there. There you go. Get these guys. Do I have to get these guys? I think so. Eh, eh, eh. Just showing you how to handle the baddies from. There we go. So now it's open. Get a good hop on these. There we go. Turn around. What do we have? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I almost aced one of these finally. Jeez. Okay, so let's go hop this over there. Let that do work. Kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> so each one of these, each one of these suits is very unique and and really, really adds. Like none of these are like you know bullshit filler, uh, filler suits or anything like that. Like just just have a power, just have a power kind of thing. Like no, all of these really change the way that you're. Uh, uh, your little robot operates. Cute little robot guy. Let me see if we get this. Boop! And that's it. Companion cube is the way to get out. There we go. Dunk bonus. I didn't get a dunk bonus? Alright, cool. So that is, that is your tutorial level. I recommend, well, you don't have to do it now, right? Because you've seen, won't see me do it. So there you go. Save you some time. Uh, let me see. What else do I want to show you? So I have a couple of like mechanics things I want to show you, right? Like that should give an idea of just how robust this thing is. And if you play Mario Maker or seen videos of it, uh, like you watch Moon Moon, for example, right? Then you probably are familiar with some of the crazy things that people can build. So I'll show you a difficult level, not like an insane level because some of them are like, I want to be the boshi, like super, 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 super hard. Uh, and those ones for me technically are, I don't really feel like they're that fun. I like the ones that are just more straightforward platforming types, not the ones that just punish you just to be a dick. Uh, but we'll, we'll show you uh, one of those in a bit. Right now, mechanic stuff. Let's see. I'm going to show you two levels made by Specchio, who is one of the, I guess, more known uh, level creators in the game. And he actually stopped by the stream and gave me a couple of these. So I want to show you goes, uh, show you guys those now. Uh, first one is SKV7000. Oh, man, he's got a cool name. Wily Machine Fortress. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, hold this. So he's making this obviously with all in-game sounds, um, or actually using the music maker, I should say. And I've seen the machine; it is bonkers. Honestly, just just absolutely bonkers. How complex the machine is. He basically builds a he, he builds a, a step sequencer, uh, and he oh god, this part. Okay, I don't know if I can do this on the first try. <laughs> but come on, man, isn't this not amazing? The music is a bit loud because it's not the actual background. Oh, God! Uh, anyways, the music is a little bit loud because it's not the actual in-game music. But, which you may not notice because I'm going to lower it in, uh, in post. But just be warned when you hop in, it's super loud. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. God, terrible. Actually, I showed Declan on this one. He's a Mega Man fan. Pew! Oh, I missed. Actually, I don't know if I beat this level. Because <laughs> it's a full level. It's not just... Say, and this is the thing, too. Like, you compare this to like the music making, the music levels in Mario, where you have to basically maintain a run or something like that in order to... Uh, God, my aim is so terrible right now. Uh, you have to basically maintain a good sprint in order to play the music. This one will play no matter what, because it's all being triggered by its own... Uh, well, it's all triggered off-screen, like in the basement or something, uh, and it's constantly running. Which is really cool. Like in Mario Maker, obviously the stuff doesn't... If it's not on the screen, it's not loaded in some cases, I should say. Uh, especially with the music stuff, which is why you have to run in order to create the music part. But in Level Head, they've, they've upped that a little bit. Oh my god, it's just like the actual game. I haven't gotten this far, by the way. <laughs> I mean, in the real Mega Man, of course, you know? And the other one is also a uh, music level that he's done. Oh, come on! So... And it's a full-length song, too, man. Like, he's got the bridge and everything. It's freaking great. Mm. 
Oh man, okay, there's three of them there. I can't really just jump that. The damn door. Got time that a little better. There we go. Instead of spamming, just just, just do it right, you know? I mean, snail, listen to it, man. It's got drums and everything. Look, oh, God, the fill. Come on. Okay, what do I do here? Let me see. You. No. Oh, God. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. That was a panic moment. I'm trying to get, trying to triple dip on that. There we go. So that thing's gonna come sweeping at me here in a second. Maybe we should use them as a little. Oh, oh balls! There. I knew I could get at least two on that. Oh, jeez! So let me go and show you another level. <laughs> we'll show you one of his other ones here. Let's do. Uh, we'll do. Cursed Clock Tower. So some of the names may fit, some of them don't because it's an automatic. It's a it's a, a name generator. Uh, so I guess that way you don't put like your obscene things in the name itself. Uh, but it also makes it kind of difficult to find things. And then in that other case with Wiley, the Wiley Machine Fortress, like, he was really lucky uh, that those com that combination existed. And this one, Cursed Clock Tower. Go ahead and place your bets on what this might be. Think NES Cursed Clock. Tower, maybe? Cursed? Cursed Tower? Something, right? Uh, let me see. S K D H N X. If any of you guys say Mickey Mouse's Adventure or whatever, because I guess that is kind of a cursed tower. Uh, no, you're wrong. Listen to that. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, just, just fail immediately. Hold on, let's go past this part, can we? Okay, it just forces you in here. Got it. So not only does he make the music, right, does he sequence the music, but he also designs like an entire level around it that is very reminiscent of the original. If you go back and like map out, oh gosh, if you map out the original, there's a lot of elements here that you recognize, you know? Uh, I, I have a whip. I have a leather whip, or I guess more of a, I don't know. I don't know what that would be made out of. Silicone or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let me see. But there's no lanterns or anything to, to whip. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, what is wrong with me? There's no way I'm gonna show you guys the hard level if uh, if I can't even make it through these damn things. Although to be fair, he did make- he, he did add a little bit of challenge. There's a sprinkle of challenge here. When you see- when you see the level that I'm gonna show you, you'll understand why I'm a little twitchy. Uh, you'll understand fully why I'm a little twitchy with these ones, because I just completed it as a warm-up. And then I want to use it again in order to demonstrate, uh, you know, just basically, basically what I consider to be a very well-designed level. And also, my thumb kind of hurts. <laughs> oh, okay, let's be careful. There's no checkpoint here. Jesus, dude. Hook me up, man. Oh, my God, thank you. Uh-oh. We even got... Come on. I mean, let, let's, let's, just, let's just be real here. Level heads... Uh, level heads level our uh, music generation capabilities is far beyond what you get from whoop hold on from uh, Mario Maker so if you're if you're in a Mario Maker strictly for the ability to make some uh, music then you're in luck because uh, or sorry you're out of luck but you're in luck if you want to get it from here hold on a second what is this guy looking for it's looking for one more what I can go through here let me see I can't go up though Hmm, I forgot what's supposed to So there's that th thing over there, but I can't get this through the wall. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to save one of those enemies. Dang. Okay, let's go kill myself. Rip. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to, uh, save one of them? Oh, they don't drop spikes. Hmm. Oh, does it want the coins? No. I am a little lost. I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Coins aren't it. Do, 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 do. Well, I don't know what else is up here. There is actually, I mean, there's a whole like boss fight and everything at the end of this. 
feel bad that I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. I, 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 it says one. Let me go kill myself again and see if it says two at the end of this, because I can't make this jump here without any kind of ability or anything, or without that platform coming down. It still says one. Hmm, I think I, like, I missed something here. Oh, you can't go back down? Yeah, I can. Hmm, it's not these, nothing done here. Usually that counter is for, like, enemies or something that it sees. Probably that up there, I'm guessing. But I can't grab these guys. Yeah, you know, it's probably something super obvious that I just, I don't remember because I haven't played it in a minute. Let me see if I could get a good... Oh, it's, is it that? Ah, got it. That's right. I forgot about the stupid plug thing. Damn it. Totally forgot about that thing. Yes, another mechanic here that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that you tend to forget, I guess. I shouldn't have survived that, actually, but I'll take it. Okay, so one. Okay, so this right. We have to go find the plug thing to put in in order to make things operable. So let's see. I remember this now. Okay. Look at this clock tower up here. Is he gonna hit me? Uh, no ish. Okay. Whew. Slowest moving one. The slow one is the that's the, oh the one you have to watch out for. There we go. We'll just march right through here. Oops. No, don't come. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god dang it. Oh man, I'm gonna try to zoom through this thing. Can I? Can I? Should I be impatient? Just go. Jesus. Patience. What is wrong with my thumbs? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, hey, well, you know, it's not just about the music. The level is also pretty, like I said, pretty difficult. Oh, I forgot you go through that the block. The block is uh, semi-solid. Stand on it, but you can also jump through it. That's right. Why can't I clear that guy? Come on, come on. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait. Try to be patient. Oh man, just, just slipped off. All right, we'll do a couple more tries here, then we'll go ahead and move on, because we gotta keep this thing, we gotta keep this thing relatively digestible. Saved, saved, saved. Uh, oh man, so hard to correct yourself when you're trying to jump. Oh my God, hey, you know what? So you guys get it, right? <laughs> oh, let's go back. Let's go back. Hold on a second. Let's go back. Uh, let me see. How funny. I have beat that level, though. Damn it. Let me see. What is next? Oh, yes. Pong. This is a good example of logic being applied in the uh, in the engine here. Pong. Play one or two player. Let's go and go. Uh, what is it? Uh, how does this work? I forget. Ah, here we go. So on the right hand side, uh, there's a couple baddies over there that are, that are who I'm playing against. Oh, oops, oops. So the way it works, you see the bumpers, uh, which are the orange circles. Those are controlled by these push, these little push uh, uh, platforms that I'm hitting right here. Well, they're sideways now, so they like push switches. And, oh, and you can bounce this thing all over the place and you could beat, <laughs> basically this is like running into a parked car is what this is. It's not like this, <laughs> or trying to avoid a parked car. It's not terribly difficult. Come on. Oh man, I feel like it's gonna bounce, but it's not. These guys got, look at, they have such a huge, like, they have such a huge advantage. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't this crazy though? Like, just the amount of stuff that you can make in this is just nuts. Uh, okay, well. Look at that curve, man, the curve that it gets when it hits the bottom there. There it is. You can see the score at the bottom, by the way. Very, very bottom. Oh man, I keep feeling like that thing's gonna bounce, but the damn thing... <sighs> but it's not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at the clutch blocks, man! Oh my gosh! I am not gonna lose to this. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm gonna lose to this. <laughs> Oh, come on, give me another chance. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, 
Ajá, ajá, ajá. Ooh, making a comeback. Making a comeback. It's okay, I lost myself when I was playing before, so... Because you could control both sides by choosing one of the options at the beginning there. So yeah, that was embarrassing. Not my finest moment. But yeah, you know, it's been a while since I played Pong, so you know, maybe. Maybe losing to yourself not too bad. I am pretty good at video games, right? So maybe, maybe that's it. <laughs> oh god, dude, the clutch blocks, man. There it is. One more. Oh, oh man, this is... Uh... And uh, as it says, you can't play this two-player if you had another person here. There it is. And that should be it, right? Please, God, stop. Oh, God. Is this a game match point here? Is that what this is? Uh, dude, oh. This guy, we've got three more. Somebody beat this in a minute? Yeah, that should be it. Oh, is it not? Hold on a second. Oh, I believe that. Oh, okay, okay. So it unlocked the portal and we're good. So I already won. Okay, I already won. Look at these guys. Ah, jerks. Suck it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. There we go. All right, so we're going to go back here. Okay, and the last one I'm going to show you today, and I really hope I've, I've chosen an assortment that kind of shows you guys the... Just, I mean, just how uh, incredible the engine is and the, the different things you could do. The music one alone is uh, pretty significant. The guy actually has a dock that he uh, that basically has all of the different setup parameters and everything for what he had built in order to make this thing work, and it's just insane. This last one here is just a straightforward, difficult level. Uh, I hope I could get through it for you guys uh, one more time. This will be my third time completing it. Escape with package friend. So first we're going to go down. And then we're gonna go down again. And this is where the level starts. Music kicks on. Spikes on the floor, you gotta keep moving. Can't stop. Grab this, so. Oh, zip through here. Oh man, it's okay. There's gonna be lots of that, so. We'll just go ahead and just take each death and move on. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> P.S. P.S. The soundtrack is pretty good. Especially this song, actually. Which is why I didn't mind playing this level for like 45 minutes or whatever it took to beat it on stream. I think I beat it on stream. Did I beat it on stream, guys? I don't know. <laughs> Did I beat it on stream? Hold on. Let me try and get me with this pull. Honky. Dang it. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Ah, you can see where the spikes come out. It's the little black plate that's on the, uh... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's hard, man. It's hard. Come on, man. Get the dang thing on the right. On left side. Left side. Left side. Good snatch. Okay, there it is. Throw that at the door. There we go. Slippery floor. Slippery floor. Oh, very slippery. Mm -hmm. You know, I've zoomed through this so many times, this particular level here. This part, I have a feeling that it's going to be a tough time. Because why? Because we're recording. <laughs> it's okay. Whoa. Slippery. Uh, ah, slip right off that. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, recover. My eyes are like losing focus here because I play this so many times now. Can't even focus on the damn screen. There we go. Oh, I forgot the roof has them too. There we go. Trigger this guy. Go. Those bumpers, man. Those bumpers will get you. But if you're extra cautious, the spikes will get you. There's just no winning. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Gotta hold that for just a, like a millisecond longer. Like I said, this is this is gonna be a few. 
just just sit back, relax, and just listen to me make random random sounds. That's what you're here for. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that on the first try. <laughs> that, that part is so hard. <laughs> Actually, there's much harder coming up, so. Hold on to your butts. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna snatch this up. Grab all that. Just come over here. Don't touch the ground. Ugh. I have actually uh, gotten pretty good at hitting that bumper coming back and using that to grab the wall, but it's still so hard. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, never mind. I just did it the right way, so that works too. Whoop. Oh. Dunk on this. Get that. Oops. Uh, okay, thank God. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, I need that. I showed you guys what this does already. Oh, man. By the way, yes, you can use the companion cube block thing to, uh, defeat your enemies. You gotta be careful because those things will come down. Oh, my goodness. God. Try to keep it PG. Whee! <laughs> Don't, but... Yeah, once you hit one of these, you kind of—oh boy! <laughs> once you hit those, you're kind of just SOL. There's just not a whole lot you could do after that. Just—it's total. It's a total Jesus take the wheel moment. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, it does not refresh your. Uh, your jetpack when you hit those things. Dang it. But you can, if you're really fast, you can throw your cube down and then hop on it and get that back. Dang it. Get some, get some more jetpack juice. Then you have to grab it again. But you know, you can get pretty good at it. You could, you could do stuff like that too. Oh, that was close. Okay, now they're gonna come back, so we can start over. That one, really? Oh, great. Okay, so this is gonna be funny. <laughs> Snatch that and go! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh, what the... What the... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at that. Oh man, made it look so easy! Dun, dun, dun. So now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to find levels of your own. Uh, this is just the search uh, mechanism here. You could go through and look at your profile, which will show you all the levels you've done, levels played, and of course, you go through and play them again if you'd like. Uh, did I actually just, did I, uh, okay, good, I, 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 I liked it. Let me go on favorite too. I really like that level. Like, that's, I feel like that's such a good uh, challenge level to keep you moving and everything. Uh, like pure platformer almost and lots of good mechanics with the box as well And you'll see that a lot in a lot of these in a ton of these levels where they utilize the box mechanic grabbing things throwing things and all of that uh, Let me see. Let me see. I was gonna show you looks we're gonna show you the that's right the tower So this is where you could go through and find levels to do um, Let me see juice the door up uh, so you go past mother all time you could go difficulty unbeaten, and this these are the levels that, you know, they start off and they're just stupidly hard. Uh, and, and like it says, it says unbeaten, so I don't know if that means that there's five hours played and it's a thousand. Huh, no one's played it, huh? Or nobody's beaten it. Really? No, that's not right. Blade Wolf right there. I guess not, not technically unbeaten then. We're going to go and play. Let's go try this. Why not? Really? It's gonna spawn again. <laughs> Restart level, I already lost. Okay, let's see if we get over there. There we go. Boom. Scared, scared. I don't know what it wants from me. No music, it's all eerie. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, man. Nope, nope. 
as it wants. There's something back there too, it looks like. I'll grab his coin, I guess, just because. Then we'll go down over here. Okay, it's not a down, okay. This one is. <sighs> one more try. This time we're gonna go straight down. Screw the diamond. So, let's go back to uh, going through and finding more levels, right? You go to Cakewalk and go and find yourself something that's easy. Now, the users are the ones, or the person who creates the levels, the ones that actually you know, say whether or not it is easy or whatever. Um, and so, you, you're, you're going to get levels that may or may or may, or may not be uh, difficult or easy, depending on what they say. Beginner friendly teaching, don't move simple, you can put tags on it. Actually, the tags are pretty nice too, because uh, there's a ton of them, and you can go and figure out like which ones you want to, like a well-paced zipper, uh, built around the zipper power-up. That's kind of cool, actually. Single screen. Oh, single screen, huh? Huh. Just look at that. Camera never moves. Super short. Let's try one of these. So like I said, the users are the ones that make the, put add the tags. The users are the ones that had the difficulty, so they may not always be accurate. <laughs> so yeah, it's, there's a huge amount of levels that you could go through and it's just, yeah, it's just spicy. Ooh, spicy, I like that. Uh, let's see what this is real quick. One more, one more, and then we'll get out of here. Last battery, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it's like a, uh, it's a mini game of some sort. What's supposed to do here? Avoid those things? Let's put them up in the. Uh, let's supposed to put them straight up. I see into the warp, into the thing there, like this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. This is awesome. I'm really glad that uh, that we came across this because it's going to give us an opp another opportunity to see just how incredible the level editor is. This is one of those just like keep on pounding it until uh, until you get the result you want. You guys know how that works. There you go. Mm-hmm. What is it? Really show up at the same? No, it's not. It shows up at a different point. What a cool mechanic, though. Man, utilizing the. Uh, Damn. Using a little, utilizing a little TNT thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Like right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. We got two of them here. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get either of them there. Look at the one on the right first. There. One on the left. Oh, we can't do it like that. Okay. Oh, oops. I meant not the left wall. I meant the left on the ground here. This is the one on the far left, though. Oh, damn. This guy... There. Nice. And then you... They like to go up. Oh, you know what? If I hit it one in the middle, it'll go far. There we go. The explosions overlapped. Where's my... Where's my nuke at? Oh, it's on the actual thing here. Oh, and he drops it. Mmm. So we'll drop it on these blocks here. I wonder what the green flame following is supposed to do. What are we supposed to represent? There we go. Companion cube there. We go and knock that. We keep on knocking it, looks like. Just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. There we go. We'll eventually get it over there. There, like that. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm here. This is me. Oh, oh, dang it. No. No. Wait. I guess I'm supposed to just keep on. Oh, there's... 
<laughs> oh man. So again, again, I can't say this enough. Like the level editor is just, just absolutely insane. And check this out. Like from this screen, you could go and click on, on this and it'll just copy the code and it'll paste it uh, with the name, the person who made it, the tags, and of course the code itself and a link that will open up in the, let me actually show you, it'll open up in the game, I believe. Let me see, yes it will. Uh, so I'll go and open this up. And, oh no it does not, it just shows you the details on a window. Uh, the last game that we had played uh, had had an option where it'll actually throw it throw you into the game itself. But still though, this is, uh, I mean, just such a good system. A very fleshed out game. I remember I was bombarded with emails from these guys just saying, oh, it's a new Mario Maker, Mario Maker style, Mario Maker style, style. and I was following it. It looked really good, and, I, and when it came out, I jumped on it immediately, played it, and like I said, the community community is really, really positive. Uh, there's so many of them, and like I said, like if you are a streamer and you want and you like platformers like this, uh, you know, they will come to you. They really, really will. They want to share their creations with you. They want to get your opinion. They want to get your feedback on it. They want to see you suffer, that kind of thing. So totally worth, totally worth the time and money, especially if you like platformers. If you like Mario Maker and you play PC games pre uh, predominantly, then you, you, that's, it's, it's a no brainer. It really, truly is. So that's it guys. My name is Mike B, AKA Phony. The game is called Level Head. You can find it on Steam right now for $19.99. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. I'll see you guys later.